Hello and welcome to Undercover Journalist, the show where we go undercover to find out if your news is playing fair or viewer beware. <laughs> Let's get inside. Today's location, the local Times newspaper headquarters. G'day. Hello. How are you? Good, thanks. I'm just here to have a look at the lights. Uh, yeah. The lights. Um, you called earlier about having a uh, light problem? No. No, I didn't. Oh, someone did. <laughs> you can get anywhere with a high vis and a clipboard. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to the news, we're often bombarded with a lot of information. But here's the thing, not all of it is trustworthy. And being able to tell the difference between something that's legit and something that's not can be pretty hard. Yes, I knew it. Cats are better than dogs. Fake news. It's not a new problem, but thanks to social media, fake news has become way easier to find and share than ever before. It helps to know where the news is coming from and whether it's a source you can trust. Mm. You know what I'm smelling? An unreliable source. This article seems biased. What's a bias? Bias, that's when people lean towards one opinion over another, like whether they prefer cats or dogs. A lot of things can influence bias. It could just be personal preference. Hey, I just like cats. Bias can also be influenced by other things too, like money. I don't know who Benjamin is, but I got a lot of these. Yeah, all right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. are you after that? I think that is bang on. I've right. got a deal. I think we've got a deal. I like it. I like you. Or political interests. <laughs> Organisations or individuals might use the media to influence the way people think or the way they vote. Or maybe they're just trying to sell you ad space so that you click on something. Maybe because you already agree with it. Or maybe it's, you know, too outrageous to be true. These stories we often call clickbait. Yeah. Knew it. Speaking of ads. How did you get in here? Look out for those two. Sorry, mate, I'm just trying to get through here. Thank you. Ads aren't just those three second skippable ones at the start of a YouTube video. They're also here. And here. And while online creators are supposed to let their audience know when something's an ad, it's not always easy to tell when someone's been paid to promote a product. Okay, three, two, one. G'day, I'm Nat from Undercover Journalist. I've come to ask you about reports of bias in your publication. Go, follow him. Don't let him go. Come on, follow him. Hey, stop. We've got some questions to ask you, mate. Good job, team. I think we had a positive impact here today but I'm still going to rate this publication a solid viewer beware. <laughs> Stay safe out there, kids.